Yes, we've made it again another week because it is that Friday feeling of Dad's arsey hanger. I so look forward to these Fridays because I know the weekend is upon us and normally if the weather's great, which it's not, it's flying time. At least for me anyway. Many of you may be retired and you can fly anytime. But it's still that Friday feeling of Dad's arsey hanger and today we're back with the Tiger Moth. Come on! And welcome back. Oh yes, 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 yes. We are at some random view of the plane of the Tiger Moth. So what we're looking at, Chris, you're saying, okay, we're looking at bits of stuff that's coming out of holes in the Tiger Moth. Yes, yes we are. That's what we're doing, exactly what we're doing. <laughs> now, before, when we was trying to put the wings together and put them on, it was a complete disaster, I thought, anyway. I mean, I should have really deleted the video, but then again, it's always good to see what not to do. So these are little kind of uh, tips um, on this video of, of building tips of how I found a decent way of doing stuff and then sort of video afterwards. Now, when you get when you get this model, you get like, a, I think they're about an inch long. Let me, uh, let me see if I can get one without breaking anything. Have I put them in somewhere? Yes, I have. I put them in a tin. See, I'm getting too, too good. <laughs> right, you get six mil dowling rods. And what's a dowling rod? This is a dowling rod in focus. Excuse my poor nails. Don't worry about them. They don't worry about you. Don't worry about them. So, this is what normally goes in here. And they, can't, they're not fixed. They wobble about. And by the time you put them in, you're, you're talking a silly amount sticking out either side. Now, you have got the metal tube. And you have got a screw that comes through this little hole here. This one here. And this one down here which screw into the wings to keep them tight. Now, I wasn't happy with that um, for various reasons because it just, it was pants. Trying to get the wings on, you saw how I was trying to get the wings on, they're falling all over the place, trying to get the dowels in, a complete nightmare. And I do want to take these wings off. I don't want to store it in the hangar. As you know, I haven't got a huge amount of space in the hangar. So um, yes, this is how it is. So I brought some new dowel rod, which I had in here. I don't even get that in focus. You can get that in focus, there you go. So it's, this is the cut off, and this is eight millimeters. Um, the holes before are six millimeters. You have to work that out, what that out, what? <laughs> you have to work what that is in uh, Imperial. But anyway, millimeters. So it's got little ridges on as well, but this is eight millimeters. So what I did, I went through every hole. So this hole, this hole, this hole, and his hole. This hole sounds like I'm saying something else then. Sorry. Um, this hole, I made them eight millimeters. And I did that to the wings and the fuselage and the and the petrol tank. So it fitted the uh, eight millimeter dowel rod. Now what I did is I made one big long rod that went from this side. Um, I've got to be careful here because I've got the uh, the uh, the uh, rudder on the other side. You, you probably won't be able to see or you might see, but it goes from one side to the other side and it goes straight through so i measured and it is about an inch i think either end which is about 25 six mil or whatever it is on the bottom and they go straight into the wing and fit on now this one i've done a boo-boo yes 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 <laughs> here's a picture of the wing now i'm showing this picture of the wing because when you tighten that little um grub screw holder thingy bobby um inside that little piece of wood it came loose it came off when I tried to undo it. So it was a bit like the pull strings we had for the servos, you know, it's just a bit of glue. Obviously not enough glue. So what I had to do was, I mean, they're totally in the wrong place anyway. They're right in the way of the dowling rod. They should have put them to the side a bit more or something. But anyway, not complaining about that. Um, so I put some uh, five minute epoxy in there. Before I did that, I put some CA glue, some super glue, sorry, um, just to hold it in place. And then I covered it, I, you just about see actually, I covered it with five minute epoxy and that got it all nice and hardened. Now also the screw that goes into that, um, I cut uh, possibly about four mil, four mil off. Basically so it didn't come through the dog nut. That's all it is in there is a dog nut. So as you tighten it, it tightens itself into the wood. So it didn't protrude to get the most flattest surface. So now I've got that out of the way, let's come back to the plane. Now, so first of all, <laughs> I've, I've, these dowling rods inside, whether it's on the edge inside or in this case on the middle, 
I've a five minute epoxy. So they won't move about. So the wing will push on. I, on the edges, I've just wound the um, um, ground. I just put some sandpaper on these edges here. Um, you probably won't be able to see them because it doesn't want to focus or something. I don't know. Probably not. Are you going to focus? Man, the time I try to focus this silly thing. Anyway, all I did is just just curve the edges just a bit on the end so it, it, it locates the hole better. So, you know, it, it's going to push into the hole nicer. Now, the front one, basically the back one here had the same about an inch sticking out. And this small one was about 10 millimeters. Um, just because when you push into the wing, it hits that dog nut. Um, so you don't want to hit it. But I put them around the wrong way. So <laughs> I had an inch here and a 10 mil here, which, uh, which was totally wrong. So this should be an inch out. So if you're doing it, keep this the same as these. Uh, because obviously it's a nice little solid um, help, you know, to stop the, the wing from moving and stuff. But that, that should be fine. I mean, you've got the, the spar and the nut screw. Uh, well, it's like a bolt, plastic bolt nut, which we'll put in. They should be fine. But what you have to do to this. Now, I don't know if I can get this in focus. I really don't. I will try my very, very best. And I think, there you go. I think it's just about in focus. If you can see, I've cut just about a quarter away so when it slips into the wing it this piece here goes over the dog nut but then you've got enough round to actually fit in the hole but obviously so that flies over that dog nut in the picture that's the only way you have to do it then it slips in if you don't it hits that dog nut and just pushes against it so it's a bad design unfortunately but there's a way round things and this is the fun time things so what else did i do you're saying to yourself well chris hang about they're metal they're not falling out. Of course, no. I've got a, another little fun piece I did, and you can just about see it here, is that I drilled a hole and put a screw in, just to, just through the toilet roll holder, just to stop it moving about. And they did the same in the bottom as well, which is, I think, just about there, if I can see correctly. Um, and that is just so I can, when I'm putting the wings on, it's not gonna push them. Um, the wings should go on nice and uh, nice, well, they should go on nice. Now a couple of uh, a couple of tips from the subscribers um, um, talking, uh, especially uh, John retired, talking about uh, bits and pieces that we can do. We can upgrade the uh, undercarriage. I'll have to put a link in uh, where where he told me to go, where I went to go, um, because apparently that, that when it 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 spreads, it's not very strong. So if you look at a real tiger moth, it's got like a similar a similar undercarriage uh, to the navy cub. Um, so, but they, and they found a way of doing that. I haven't had the time or the metal to do that, but it will be done before the maiden. So we can talk about that on the maiden. Now, also, if I show you a picture here, so this is the timing screw. Now, all I did on here, I put a Allen bolt um, into into there, and then you've got a grub screw that tightens on there. Um, so when you're out and about, so if I get the actual actual cow. Simon cow. Yeah, have a look at the cow. So all I've done here is uh, made a little hole so that this, so then this protrudes through it so then you can just get the Allen key, which I think this is the right one actually, there you go, and just turn it um, safely. Um, you can see I was trying to measure here that I've got to get a bit of rubber on there um, um, to get that off. But yeah, once the cow fits that now, it's not exactly, I was out a bit. I, I did make a blunder. Me, make a blunder, never. Well, I did. <laughs> And it kind of comes just a bit there, but uh, you know I can live with that. I really can. I probably won't. I'll probably buy a new cow and do it again, but uh, that would do for now. So that, those are a few tips there. So we will put the wings on, um, and uh, and in a second we'll put it do it in quick fashion. Another tip. So this is another tip I'd have to make. I'll make all these tips, so they're kind of like you know you can jump to them if you want to see. So that's kind of like a wing tip, and then you've got like the tip for the. To the control. I mean, a lot of people put a little wire in there that you can get an, a uh, um, pair of pliers. But I thought, well, if I've got like long, long screws that's got a hex nut on the top, and then let's get my hex driver 1.5, boom, you know, more further away from the propeller. <laughs> now, window screens. Yes, yes, yes. This comes up with window screens. Hold it right there. Okay. Craziest. Why do people always call me when I make videos? Right. So what was we on? Oh yes, windows. We got windows that we have had to put on. Um, obviously, there's bits and pieces that still got to go on the on the, um, the tiger moth. The you know um, just bits of plastic stuff and bits and pieces. But I had a bit of a nightmare with this. 
I, me? Never. Now, I did put a little bit of glue under there, stuck them on, and then they didn't stick properly, and I had a complete nightmare. So, if you can see this, if, you, if I can get this in focus, and I'm always saying that, I've used, I'll show you in a minute, in fact, I'll show you now, hang on, this is my, I have a couple of these, books of my planes. <laughs> so, right, do you remember, do you remember, right, the sticky plastic, well, they're not sticky plastic, it's basically what they've covered the plane with, but it's, you know, you peel it off and it's sticky. Um, well, all I did is, is cut them down, um, 10 mil in width, and then use different, uh, different uh, lengths, um, and then stuck it round. And then went on this one here, where the green met the brown, um, I just cut a bit of green and put it over the brown. Um, you know, I want to try and see if I can put a bit of lacquer over that. So, as I say, it's not a bad job. I mean, you know, you look at some movies, you know, with these planes in, you know, they've, they've fixed them up with everything, you know. I mean, the gaffer tape wasn't around, I don't think, back then, or duct tape, as you called it, over the pond. Um, but, yeah, so that's not too bad, and that's solid. So, you know, don't have to glue, just, uh, all I did is I put a bit of blendum, uh, just to hold it there, and then I put this one there and cut that at an angle and just, you know, I mean, there's probably professionals out there that would do a lot better job than I have. And there's my little button, contact. So yeah, so that's a little tip for the window screens, you know, don't worry about it because I, I could imagine myself just getting glue everywhere. Um, <laughs> you know, and it just, yeah. There you go, another tip. Okay, we we're back at a different angle. Um, now, I did do some bits and pieces um, off camera to try and hurry the video along because look, we're a, a week away before Christmas, 2020, 2020 Christmas. Um, yes, I still haven't got my lights back up again, but I will do for next week because we are doing a video for Christmas Eve of 2020. Um, I was gonna make a live one, but then I thought, well, maybe a lot of people wouldn't see it and you know, we'll just do a video anyway um, before I spend time with my family. Now, electronics, I've put the, I've been starting to put the electronics in. What I'll do, I will get the iPhone, um, if I get it to work properly, <laughs> maybe a bit of light or something, and record inside. But I've got an issue with my automatic igniter. Yes. Um, I plugged it in and everything, and it's got a problem. Um, I don't know what the problem is, but the light stays on. Um, I'm getting like 1.4 volts out of it, even if I press the button. So I think I've got a dodgy igniter. Um, I didn't test it. I should have tested it really, shouldn't I? Uh, before I put it all in, but it's okay. Uh, I can't send it back because I put my own LED on it and my own switch. Um, it's, it's the right cabling and everything. So I'm a bit upset about that because I, I want to try and get this fired up for Christmas Eve. Um, you know, we'll fill the tank up with fuel and make sure that works. Um, and I'll have the, um, We'll, we'll do a quick fast video of the of putting on the wings. I was going to do it today, but you know, it's just going to be a bit bop, bop, bop. I mean, there is uh, there is so many people that have left comments about, um, you know, that the actual, um, I should have wrote the names down. I didn't write the names down. Did I, did I, did I, no, I didn't, I didn't write. I do apologize, but you know who you are. Um, there's about three of you that said about the wires uh, on the actual wings are not even structural. Um, you don't need them. Um, so a lot of people use fishing wire, some of them use dueling wire. Um, I'll, um, I'll, I'll find the names on the uh, on there. I did write them down. I don't know where I put the paper, just to say thank you. So, you know, it's uh, basically the wings can go on with that, and I haven't got any fishing wire. So there's all these bits and pieces to do. But the the main things is that if you are building this, you can carry on. I mean, the dowling rods brilliant idea that when the wings fit on they are solid don't need anything in between but obviously we have to so let's see if I can make uh, let's get my phone um, hopefully it will um, I could take video of it he says is the light coming out I don't, the lights not coming out I don't know why but it's uh, probably because it's C so let's uh, let's um, let's I suppose pop up a window and you'll see see me me recording here we go now as you can see Sorgamoth now at the back there, or should I say the front, you can actually see uh, the igniter. Um, that's the problem. <laughs> Obviously our bottle, um, our, um, our uh, I was gonna say thrust. <laughs> Where did I get thrust from? But yeah, but anyway, it's got a kind of, it is, is our thrust really. Um, where are we going? So then we've got our receiver. Now here I've made a plate, it's, it's the version one, it's not finished. 
Um, there's, there's a little screw hole there, if you can see, which fits onto the toilet roll. But it just brings this up more central to the middle of the plane. So, because I do, this has got the um, this has uh, 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 got the control um, of stabilization. That's what I want to do. Yeah, throttle. That's it. You know what? My brain is just is <sighs> throttle is there <laughs> and the stabilization. So nearer to the center of the wings uh, would be great and i wanted to bring it off the bottom because here on the side here and over here it's got where you've got these long screws so version two i'll probably put like um uh, a hinge on here so i can lift it up um i was hoping to get it done today but i haven't and then obviously you've got the rudder and elevators on the back so that's all the electronics and then inside here on here obviously this is our our uh, what goes into the canopy and down here, I almost forgot, right down there is a BEC. Now, if you don't know the difference between BEC and ESC, then you're pretty silly because one begins with an E and one begins with a B. It's all right, I'm here all week. <laughs> uh, sorry. Anyway, if you, if you want to know why I'm using a BEC, then follow this link wherever it is above me and it's take to the video about the BEC. But that's going to supply power. Now I've got a battery, so that's that's come off the uh, well. There's 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 the, there's the battery here. Sorry, the XDC uh, connector I put on it. Um, so that's uh, let's finish with that video. We don't need that video now. Uh, I've got these flat batteries. Um, I got them for I don't know what I got them for, but I think I mistakenly bought them. Um, and I put an XDC connector because it had an ET connector. I think it is. Now I'm going to use this battery because I prefer to use it than, than the th four AA batteries that you can get. It gives you six volts. Um, but I, I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. I need to get the center of gravity. So I need to get like something that's going to weigh, I think six ounces of fuel um, or fill it with fuel or six ounces, put it on there and get the CG where, and then I'll know where the battery is going to go. So, but that it all, you know, it, it works. I mean, um, yeah, I mean, I've had it connected up and everything else just to, but uh, buying the transmitter or receiver, should I say? Yeah, oh, buying you know together. Throttle's working fine and everything, so I'm really happy. Um, apart from the igniter, that's a big poo poo, huh? I was really sort of like wanted to smash this out this week, um, ready for the uh, ready for the fire up um, with it built, uh, fire the engine, um, and you know getting and getting ready in bits and pieces. Um, because next year is her maiden so I thought what better way to finish this year um, which I suppose you know we still got New Year's Eve but you know but I wanted to finish it so the Tiger Moth was done and all these little tips and tricks so you can look back and skip along them or whatever and build on yourself because it's a beautiful plane it really is alrighty um, yeah so this is the issue now it's a bit of a weird thing I know it's a bit bright now you have to excuse the noise because I haven't really set up the uh, the receiver. But if I if I do the rudder, hang on, why not holding on to the wheel? <laughs> if I do the rudder a couple of times, can you see that coming loose? It's okay. It's all right. Don't panic. Why them tears? That's, don't cry. It's all right. We'll get it sorted. It's not a problem. I mean. You know, the horns is not going to stop our firing up if I don't get them done. The igniter will. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to get another igniter and I will test it with the switch that comes with it to make sure it's okay. And then I'll just solder them again onto my little mini switch. Um, uh, well, just I didn't even solder them, did I? I made a lead for it. Uh, JS, is it? JS connector. Some kind of connector. I'm all twizzles and twazzles at the moment because I've been trying to do everything and it's even me 3d printing went wrong feel sorry for me just a little bit come on but I'm you know I'm not the sort of person that gives up um, these things are sent to try us and if you can get past them and get them done then that's a good thing and uh, and it's good to show you guys and girls of of my tr you know tribulations tries and tribulations is it I don't know whatever it is but to, to show you sort of like things that happen to me that always only happen to me. Um, but how to get out of them. That's the main thing. Um, that is, I mean, I've got, I've got a set. I think I've got a Dubro set here still. Um, it's a double set, so I could use those for the elevators. Yes, I can. 
and then I'll get, uh, I should have bought another one, I mean I've got, <laughs> I've got a huge one which I accidentally brought, I mean that is, that is a huge, that is a huge horn, bit too big I think for what we need, so I need a couple of those I think as well, so I'll get on the old interweb in a minute and order some more horns and order another um, igniter which will hopefully work. Um, but you can see the layer of electronics, it all looks nice and uh, neat in there. The battery placement would depend on the CG. Um, it's always a toughie with a CG I suppose, with a, with a glow fuel plane. Um, please leave comments if it's not. But obviously you've got a full tank of petrol, or fuel, nitro fuel. Um, and then surely, I mean I don't know, I've got to find out. But surely once the, you know, you've got the CG and then as the fuel starts to go and become empty, surely you're going to start going nose up a bit because it's going to be lighter on the nose. I mean, you know, there's a lot of people out there know this. Please leave a comment, tell me about it, just so I know. So, but, you know, so I'll get the petrol fuel full and then I'll get the battery wherever it's going to be. I mean, the battery, I would have thought, you know, um, from what I'm thinking, is that I could, you know, stick it, stick it in the bottom here if it needs to be at the front. And also, there's a space at, at the top arse, which you've got just out of camera shot, I think. Uh, top arse that goes can go into there. I can make a little slide tray for it. So, you know, we can, we can, uh, you know, we can do it. Stop! I nearly forgot to say my thank yous. And I know for a fact, they were um, um, Paul Foster, and I think it was Crankenstein. Crankenstein? You crack me up. And also William Decker. Yep, I got their names. I did write them down. I don't know where I put. Thanks anyway for your comments about the wires in the wings. Um, you know, if you want to see what they put, then, then go back. Uh, I think the video before last or the one. And if you're looking at the uh, list of Tiger Moth, then it'd be the one before with this one. I be believe. Easy. Uh, yeah, so we will get some fishing wire because it's nice to know that they're not structural. Um, I mean, I can put the wires on, but they are a pain. And because I'm going to be taking the wings on and off, last thing I want to do is a bit of wire hanging around that's going to be, um, you know, scraping on bits and pieces. So um, it'd be a lot easier to, um, to put some fishing wire, some strong green fishing wire um, that I haven't got yet. So thanks anyway for them comments. So if you if you know more about the CG of uh, nitro planes and how you sort the CG, do you fill the tank half full, then get the CG? or do you fill it up to the top or do it from when it's empty? Let us know, please do, please, please, please. So, as we were saying, if you've got time you can get flying and you could do it in the snow, really enjoy yourself. Um, but until then, keep safe, have fun, and uh, thanks for popping by now. See you later, bye-bye.